Hello everyone, welcome to the TSFA classroom. My name is Bruce and I am part of the TSFA education team. Today we're going to be talking about elevated bud vases and collections of vases. It's doing something a little bit more special with the everyday bud vase and uh, making it upgraded. So this vase that is in front of me right now is basically uh, your everyday bud vase that we've seen all of our lives. You see them everywhere you go. It's a standard rose with baby's breath, two pieces of leather leaf in a, um, in a bud vase. And we've all made these forever and they're still wonderful and they're still useful in a lot of ways. But today I wanna show you just really quick, I've already made an elevated bud vase for you and uh, it's kind of exciting in you and something different. Don't be afraid to experiment with small vases because they can be very beautiful. So I want to show you, we're going to move this one to the side and I'll show you the difference. Here is one that's a little bit more elevated. It's a little bit different vase and um, has several other flowers in it other than just a rose, a beautiful large rose here at the top, some Crespedia, uh, some uh, uh, Israeli Ruscus that's been tinted lightly with white spray paint to give it a frosted look. A little bit of the Navi Belgi and uh, on the front we've kind of uh, curved a little bit in a crescent shape, uh, three or four pieces of lily grass and then attached a uh, Craspedia or Billy Ball, whichever one you want to call it, to the front of it. And what we use to connect that to the front of the vase uh, with is U-Glue. U-Glue comes in a lot of different shapes and sizes. It comes in dots and dashes and uh, all different, there are large pieces that you can uh, get and cut them up in any shape you want to. Uh, it's just adhesive uh, and uh, it works wonders. I, I really don't know what we did with it in our industry before we had that. So this is an elevated uh, bud vase. I hope you like it. So the next, I'm gonna set these back here. And the next thing I'm gonna do is a collection of vases for you. A lot of times people have events and they don't have a large budget for flowers and uh, we all know that very well, but uh, a lot of times you have leftover flowers in the cooler that you can use and uh, this is a great thing for that. So I'm just gonna show you a little collection of vases and um, see what you think about that. I've got five vases here of assorted sizes. And I'm just gonna scatter those out on the on this little uh, tray here. You can use any kind of tray you want to. I found something really cool the other day when I was looking for trays. And uh, you can also use a lot of picture frames. A lot of picture frames have really, really great floral artwork in them. So you can use a picture frame, lay it on a picture frame, and then uh, use the same colors of the flower work that's in the picture frame with the flowers that are in your vases. And it, it kind of gives you, it draws your eye down to the color at the bottom bottom of the uh, of the arrangements and uh, it's a really it's a, it would be a really cool look too but we're just going to use this tray for right now and we're going to bring color down to the base of it uh, in a little bit and you'll see that at the very end uh, I'm just going to take these vases and I want to use an assortment of a lot of different things so we have a lot of different textures and um, a lot of different flowers we have mass flower and we'll have a filler flower in it lots of different grasses and things like that so I think you'll really like this look and I think it's something that everybody can do this would be a great project for a group of kids in your class so uh, uh, I hope you like this I'm just going to start by using a couple of uh, roses. You want to use, I would try and use several of the same type flower throughout the collection so that it's so that so that it is a collection of different things. And we're just going to strip all the foliage off of this rose and I'm going to put it in the vase. It doesn't need to be tall. I would keep these a little bit shorter um, rather than having tall pieces. You can do tall pieces and we may do a little bit of grass in there that's a little bit taller. But as far as mass flowers and your weight, let's keep the heavy parts close to the bottom of your containers. So 
This is some beautiful orange Austramaria lily. I'm gonna cut this one really short and put it in this little short vase here. And then I'm gonna mirror that uh, um, somewhere else on the, well, I'll put it in this one here and use it at the base. I'm gonna use this other rose like this one here and I wanna, I'm gonna also include it in the top I have one already here on the front, so I want to go to the back here and put it in the back. They don't have to be the same height. They don't, you know, you can uh, alternate heights. Uh, Craspedia or Billy Balls is really a great um, accent flower that you can really um, play with. You can do some high, you can do some low. I want to put probably two or three small flowers, you know, in the vases. This is some green hypericum berries. Clean that up a little bit. Make sure if you have broken stems on there that you be sure and clean those off. I like to take a lot of the foliage off of it. I think the berries are the, are the star of it. So I don't want to see a whole lot of berries in there. I'm sorry, a whole lot of leaves. We want to see a lot of berries. We don't want to see a lot of leaves though. <laughs> So you have got a broken stem there. So we want to clean that up. Some pretty Navi Belgi here. Clean all that up. You can even take some of these beautiful long leaders in this uh, Navi Belgi and pull those off and just use a few of those. This is a great color combination. We've got purples and oranges and yellows and uh, peaches in here. It's really a pretty color combination. I've got a couple of really pretty bright pink Gerbers we're gonna use here. that had a wire in it. Sometimes if you have a, a stem that's weak or it's been broken or something, you can run a wire up through the stem of the Gerber daisy because it is hollow in the middle and, it, and it'll keep the Gerber straight and tall. Put this one in this one here. All right. You see how that's starting to take shape now with all the different colors? I'm going to move this around and show you the other side, how it's starting to take shape. And I'll just turn it for you every once in a while so you can see it. Okay, I've got quite a bit of flowers in here, so I'm going to start with some foliages now, filling in with some foliage. Some pretty eucalyptus. So we can hang, have some uh, eucalyptus kind of hanging over the edge of the, of the vases. You don't want to do it in every vase, just, you know, two or three of them. I'm going to put one more flower in there underneath that. Clean it up. Really pretty bright colors. Get some seeds here from the seeded eucalyptus. Be really pretty. I just love these, uh, this Craspedia. We'll carry that out a little bit more there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of lightness to it and airiness to it by adding some, uh, 
some caspia, limonium, whichever you want to call it. And put a few pieces of this in there. You know, the great thing about this arrangement here is you can, um, the hostess at a party or whatever, or whatever event you're doing, she can make these uh, vases, even though they're all different sizes, with equal amounts of flowers in them and give them as gifts, uh, parting gifts to all the uh, uh, attendees of the party, which makes a nice little gift for someone to take home and, uh, and keep. A little bit of wax flower, bringing in a little bit of that blush color in there, lighten it up a little bit. And then I've got a little bit of the agonis. Put a little bit more in uh, my center there. And really I've got a, a couple of stems of flowers and the rest is greenery and filler in each one of the vases. And you've got a really, really cool look. So I'm gonna turn it back around once again so you can see it from that side. And then to kind of finish it off, I've got some uh, rose petals, some of this beautiful free spirit rose. It's a beautiful pink on the outside and goes to a real vibrant orange in the middle. So you just take the rose and pop that off the head like that. And then just uh, spread all the, be sure you spread the petals apart and uh, don't leave them in a clump, but take the petals and kind of put them in your tray, fill around in your tray a little bit. Spill them over the side, kind of put some on the table. It's really a pretty look. Fruit is another really, really uh, great item to add to uh, a, a place like this because you have a lot of flat spots in your tray and you could use this as a beautiful pear. Um, um, slicing open fruit like papaya, which is this bright orange color and putting slices of fruit in would be really, really a pretty look also. Limes and oranges, lemons, you have all these colors in here so that would look really, really great together. You could also take more of these vases and line them down the center of the table. A great way to collect vases uh, like this, you don't have to have fancy vases. They're not expensive, you can just uh, go to garage sales. I mean, people can't sell them in a garage sale because everybody has a dozen of these type of vases, you know, on a shelf in their house. So um, go to garage sales and tell them, you know, if you don't sell your bud vases, let me know and I'll come get them. You can collect a lot of vases really quick from garage sales. And even if they do sell them, they sell them for a dime or a quarter or whatever. So that's the place, best place, I think, to get uh, assorted types of bud vases, perfume vases, and things like that. So that's really uh, what I have for you today for uh, elevating your vases and bud vases. And, I want to say thank you for coming to our classroom. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, contact us on tsfa.org.